For Eurocopter, as the leading helicopter manufacturer in the world, innovation has always been a priority. This is why we have doubled since 2007 our self-funded research and development budgets and why we have taken the commitment to have a first flight of a technology demonstrator, a new version or a brand new helicopter every year from now on. Now, in economically more difficult times, it's from our point of view even more important to invest in your future, in new solutions for you, in new solutions for our company and our future as well. And it's not without reason that I'm standing here in front of an EC-155, a helicopter you know very well. But based on this, we have developed a new concept, a concept which we call X-Cube, a concept for more speed, more range at affordable cost. Yes, we believe there is a market for high-speed helicopters, for oil and gas mission, for shuttle between uh, small cities, for a search and rescue mission for the military. But we believe that uh, the high speed cannot be achieved at any cost. So we have been uh, uh, investigating a high speed solution offering all the functionalities of an helicopter, the hover capability, offering a high speed solution at reduced life cycle cost for the customer. X-Cube is a proof of concept demonstrator of the H-Cube concept. H-Cube stands for High Speed Long Range Hybrid Helicopter, is an advanced VTOL concept blending the hover capability of the helicopter with the high speed cruise efficiency of the turboprop at an affordable cost. This project was launched in January 2008 to validate the A3 technical concept, aircraft control and trim strategies, anti-torque and yaw control, propulsion, rotor speed governor, and power management system. The driving uh, parameters to uh, design our X-Cube uh, were uh, aiming at preserving the versatility of an helicopter in hover, uh, in auto rotation, and also, uh, also in the versatility of the, of the missions of uh, an helicopter. Good performance in hover requires low rotor disc loading, typically a helicopter rotor. The rotor RPM then is uh, reduced at high speed in order to avoid drag divergence uh, at the tip of the advancing blade. A small wing then partially unloads the rotor at high speed to avoid the retreating blade stall. Auxiliary propulsion is also necessary to avoid degradation of rotor lift, lift to drag ratio at high advanced ratios. Wing mounted propellers provide the propulsive force in forward flight and the anti-torque in hover. In order to minimize the X3 development effort, cost, and schedule, we have reused a number of components from several Eurocopter helicopters. For example, the airframe uh, has been uh, taken from the Dauphin 365N3, uh, the main rotor from the EC-155. The uh, main module of the gearbox, of the main gearbox, comes from the EC-175. It was adapted with lateral power outputs towards the propeller gearboxes uh, in a specific uh, development. The uh, engines uh, comes from the NH-90, big engines, probably oversized for this type of aircraft. Uh, the trim actuators uh, are coming from uh, several aircraft, I think the EC-145, and the serial actuators uh, is a standard piece of equipment on most uh, Eurocopter helicopters.
big engines, probably oversized for this type of aircraft. Uh, the trim actuators uh, are coming from uh, several aircraft, I think the EC-145, and the serial actuators uh, is a standard piece of equipment on most uh, Eurocopter helicopters. You will actually miss our nice fenestron on the helicopter which you will see in flight in a few seconds. The x technology demonstrator which successfully made its first flight is a totally new concept which will provide you our customers with the cost efficient best value for money. It's really something uh, I should say amazing. It's a special day. First of all, because uh, I'm so happy to fly for the first time in this aircraft with Hervé. We flew already in 2000 together on the 725 for the first flight. I should say it was something classical, but today is something exceptional. This flight, yes, was, was very different from uh, a helicopter flight in, in that it's a totally new concept. It was easy to fly in hover, and so no, uh, no uh, big difference uh, with the helicopter. It's a great achievement for, for Eurocopter, for all the team that, that has worked on this project. And I'm sure that we are opening a new page of the helicopter story. This new concept, X-Cube, is the best evidence that the innovation part of SHAPE, our innovation strategy, becomes reality. We are preparing the future of Eurocopter. And this success is due to strong dedication of teams, hardworking teams with high genius developing new solutions. We at Eurocopter, we all, we can be proud of our products and of our services. But even more, we can be proud of the teams working for Eurocopter. It's their success, their achievement.